Hi, this is Kate from Minute Earth, and this is a spotted hyena, my favorite animal. But hyenas are probably not your favorite animal. Even though we humans generally feel pretty warm and fuzzy toward warm and fuzzy animals, we like hyenas just about as much as we do snakes, tarantulas, skunks, and hornets. Like snakes and spiders, hyenas have long been vilified, and we're talking way before Disney. Aristotle talked smack about hyenas thousands of years ago. Medieval scholars dissed them in written and illustrated form, and Hemingway hated on them in long, spiteful passages. And it's not just the Western world. People who actually live among hyenas don't like them any better. In Tanzania, it's believed that witches ride on and control hyenas. And the Beng people of the Ivory Coast tell a story of how, after a hyena pooped in a local village, everyone fled. Its stark white poop was an omen of death. So why can't hyenas even poop without getting, well, smeared? It's partly a vicious cycle, since one negative depiction begets another. But all this hate has to be based on something. And sure, hyenas can hurt us, but so can tigers, elephants, and lots of other critters we adore. So that alone doesn't explain it. Maybe it's their looks. I mean, I think hyenas are unbearably, unhyenably cute, but I know some people think they're a bit off. Their scraggly mane, awkward proportions, occasionally sparsely furred face, and yeah, their weirdly pale poop. And researchers have found that one thing that turns us humans off from animals is traits that, on a human, would look unhealthy or old or just plain ugly. But while these critters won't win any beauty contests, we don't go so far as to cast them as villains either. Hyena's PR problem might also stem from the fact that, just as we view animals' appearance through a human lens, we also view their behavior through a human lens. And when a species, I don't know, chows down on rotten meat, or gives birth through a 7-inch pseudo-penis, it might violate our standards for what's acceptable, instinctively triggering a deep dislike in us. Just look at how we view the, mm, alternative behaviors of snakes and bats and rats. Animals that we also reliably typecast as villains. Of course, the offbeat survival strategies of hyenas and rats and bats and snakes don't actually make them evil. They've just evolved very different ways than we have of making it in the world. In fact, I'd argue that their weirdness makes them especially awesome and interesting. But I'm not necessarily trying to get you to love hyenas. I just think that our tendency to write off entire species based on our own limited perspective might say more about us than it does about them. Maybe we should throw out our bias and throw them a bone. Okay, so clearly I'm not shy about displaying my love for hyenas. Or for Minute Earth. And neither are you all, since you've been asking for more Minute Earth merch. And we finally made it happen. Check out these possum sticker packs featuring some of our favorite Minute Earth characters, including a very cute and cuddly hyena. You can pre-order them right now at dftba.com slash Minute Earth. And with the help of our patrons, we've also designed two great new t-shirts. Plus, you can always add some of our classic merch to your order as well. Check it all out at dftba.com slash Minute Earth. And be sure to tweet us or tag us on Instagram to show off your new stuff. Also, congrats to our latest caption contest winner. The next image is ready for awesome caption suggestions from all levels of patrons at patreon.com slash Minute Earth.